Hi there, it's Mark Sebastian, founder of OptionPit.com, and this is our Option Pit Frequently Asked Question. Uh, reminder, this for education purposes only, uh, shouldn't be considered rest advice. Go to the OIC if you've got questions on options. Um, so please like, subscribe, share the video, leave me a comment. I wanna answer your questions. If you ask me a question here or you leave me a comment, I'll respond. It, uh, we'd love to hear from you. Um, so the question we have it involves what happened yesterday in our Tuesday trade. Today is December 4th. We do a trade every Tuesday here at Option Pit for our members. And we were looking at Apple and a Apple reversal trade involving a put spread. And the concept of an expected move came up. What is an expected move and how do I calculate it? Well, the expected move is what is the market's best guess as to what a stock is going to do over a period of time. And one of the greatest things to happen in the last 20 years for investors is weekly options. So we're gonna talk about how weekly options can really help you figure out the expected move and what an expected move is. So, you take a look here, Apple is flopping around, right? It marches up and then in the last couple of weeks starts to get choppy here. See all this chop? Notice these candles getting a lot bigger relative to what we had seen in previous six months. And you get some gaps in there, right? We don't like gaps when we're trying to figure out what's going on with the stock. This is a lot of momentum here. And then we get some chop. So the question was, all right, well, we want to sell put spread. What is the expected move? So I was looking at December options. And at the time, Apple was trading 257.5. Now it's trading about 262.5. So with Apple trading 262.5, how much is the market looking for it to move between now and when it expires on December 20th, that's all the expected move is. And the answer is simple. All you have to do is look at what's called a straddle. What is a straddle? The straddle is the cost of a call and a put on the same strike added up. So in the case of Apple, we're talking about the December 262 and a half calls and puts added up. So if I want to pull this up on Thinkorswim and I want to look at Apple, I can just simply go to the 262 and a half calls and puts, analyze my straddle price. Existing trade. And you can see here's my straddle price. My straddle price is $10.15. The market is looking for Apple to move about $10.15 between now and December expiration. So the expected move puts us at 252.37 and 272.64, give or take a penny or two. That is the expected move, and this is how I can figure out how much Apple is, is the market thinks Apple is going to move between now and when an option contract I'm looking at expires. Really simple. And the beautiful thing with weeklies, and I'll get to that now, is I can look at what's the expected move for today and tomorrow. four bucks. What's the expected move uh, for the next couple of weeks over the next few months? Uh, it, it's pretty darn fascinating that you're able to figure out now how much something is going to move over a one day period, a two day period. And one of the real values of expected move, and I'll close on this, is looking at earnings. I am able to go at, uh, you know, a stock reports earnings tomorrow, 
I'm now able to go and look at the options to figure out how much is the market looking for the stock to move between now and when it announces earnings. And that tells me exactly what the market thinks it's gonna move on earnings. All right, folks, um, if you have questions, again, leave me a comment, uh, shoot me an email, marketoption.com, give us a call or visit our website and you can leave us a message right here on Drift. All right, everybody, have a great day, a great week, and I will talk to you soon.